Today, I'm going to answer one of the most commonly asked questions here on my YouTube channel, which is, how do I record a microphone into GarageBand? This is also gonna be for anybody out there who got a brand new Mac for Christmas, has never had one before, wants to use GarageBand, and in fact, this channel is gonna be a huge resource for you because GarageBand and Beyond has been doing this for 10 years. So there are hundreds of tutorials on how to use GarageBand, but today we're starting at step number one. So let's get to it. When you open GarageBand for the very first time, this is the window that you will see right here. Now let's just talk a little bit about some of this stuff at the bottom. This is the tempo to the song that you will be recording if you have a tempo already. Um, tap tempo means that you can sit here and click on your mouse at whatever rate you want, and it will set the tempo. Below that, you have the key signature. Uh, if you click on this, you get all the different key signatures. You have choice between major and minor, time signature, and down here, you have access to the audio interface that you may be using. Uh, you have the ability to set it as the input or output device. Most likely your Macintosh has already done its job and found the device, identified the device and connected it to GarageBand. So let's get right to it, okay? So let's just say choose. So now at this next window, I want to tell it that I want to record a microphone and we're just gonna be recording the microphone that I'm using for this video. So I'm gonna select record a microphone. You're also gonna to wanna to select the input. In my case, it's plugged into input one, so that makes it easy. Uh, but you might, you know, if you've plugged your microphone into another channel of your interface, this is where you will find that. Don't worry, there are other places to find this later on in the process if you need to do that. So I'm gonna hit create, and I'm gonna get a channel up, and you can already see that I'm getting signal into this channel. So, now, this little icon right here is for turning on my monitor. So if you have headphones and you wanna hear yourself, this is the button that you want. These are pretty self-explanatory. This is a soloing button and this is a muting button. Um, okay, so now I'm gonna hit record and I wanna talk a little bit about the kind of signal that you wanna be recording, okay? So let's just hit record and I'm gonna count. One, oh, one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so now I have a very simple recording. I'm gonna click up here in the editor window, and I'm gonna close this one down. And basically, what I want you to understand is these numbers here on the side. These represent percentages. So this is 50% of the signal, 100% of the signal, 25%, right? Percentages. When you're recording in GarageBand, this moment right here is critical. Making sure that you get the proper levels recorded will make your life so much easier in GarageBand. So really what you're gonna look for is a general average between 25 to 50%. If it goes over 50% a little tiny bit, you're probably fine. Now in this case where I was counting, uh, you know, I could probably turn that down just a touch from my interface but since I have to record this video, I, I'm pretty happy with these levels for the video audio purposes. Now for recording music, it could be a little bit different just because I see moments uh, like right here where it is actually clipping and going up to 100%. You do not want the recording going up to 100%. Uh, just remember that between 25 and 50 is where you really want it to average. And if it goes over 50, that's okay, just a little bit. Um, but that's about it. Now you can record a microphone on GarageBand. You can do this with guitars or vocals or pianos or whatever you may want. Uh, beyond this, you will start EQing it and compressing it and doing effects and things like that. And let me just quickly show you. If you click this one up in the upper left-hand corner, uh, let's say we just want a voice patch. And these ones in here have all sorts of different plugins, which you can find in this little section of the window. And if you click on these, they will open and you will be able to see what they are. Um, so I, you know, on this one, I have two EQs, I have a tape delay and the pedal board for the uh, reverb in this particular case. GarageBand is a fantastic application, you guys. And if you're just getting into it, welcome to the club. I have been doing it for a very long time. I make professional recordings with GarageBand. I do all sorts of great work with GarageBand, and I totally believe in how good it is and the fact that you can actually put out professional sounding music on GarageBand because it's amazing and it's a fabulous tool. And uh, I just wanted to say welcome 
to the club because I think you're going to enjoy your time here on GarageBand and beyond while playing with GarageBand. <laughs> All right, you guys, I hope you had a fantastic Christmas day with your family and friends, and I will see you very soon. All right, peace and love.